Okay, welcome back to round two. We are recording. Uh, I will keep this hand for sure. Fine hand. Oh, we've got the mirror. Blood rage brother, sure. Well, we have the answer to that. Presuming our opponent doesn't have something like Magma Spray. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake, actually. Ah, dear. Well, can't be helped. I meant to play Initiate's Companion. And now I can't play Initiate's Companion and leave up Shed Weakness next turn. Ugh, that was such a bad mistake. Ugh. Clicked the wrong land. Well, can't be helped. I mean, we can still trade off a Pathmaker Initiate for... Um, yeah, we can just play out another Pathmaker Initiate and leave up Shed Weakness, which is fine. But we shouldn't have made that mistake. Bad. Should know better than that. Yep. If your opponent has magma spray or something like that, then yeah, okay. Well, no ideal. But such is life. Shades companions going to do work for us here. I mean, this may also may almost work out better for us. We made a mistake there, but at least we now have the initiates of companions still available to us, and it blocks either of these creatures. So, yeah, obviously, it wasn't ideal. It wasn't what we planned to do, but we still have the initiates companion in place. So this may, ironically, work out a little bit better for us. Especially with pursue glory, we now have two, three, six, eight. Do 16 damage. If our opponent doesn't swing here, that's great for us. Oh wow, okay. I'm kind of surprised at that, but uh, we'll definitely take it. We'll just put the counters on the Defiant Great Maw, I think. We don't want to kill one of our other creatures, so I'd rather just keep the Great Maw around and we can cycle Desert Sourdough on end of turn. Okay, well, we've stabilised a little bit now. We each have two cards in hand. We can't go for it next turn, unfortunately, because it's not lethal. Hidden pack, yep, sure thing. Yep, we'll cycle away our Ceridon. Don't look like we're going to be casting it anytime soon. I'd rather have another creature on the board, such as Pathmaker Initiate and Minotaur Sure Shot as well. well let's play out the Sure Shot. Board's pairing very, fairly closely here. We could uh, we could poke in for two here to try and get our opponent down a little bit. Um, do we want to do that? Do we want to 
We could then trade. Well, the hoodie B is the problem then. We could trade this. Yeah, no, I don't think we do. The hoodie B could be a 5 4. And the hyena pack being a 3 4. Yeah, I think we want to be slightly more cautious, unfortunately. We want to have as many creatures in play as possible when we go for the when we go for the Pursue Glory Alpha, if that's the way we want to go. Sure. I don't think we want to play our land here. I don't think there's any advantage in doing so. We could do we could start doing making the, sh the sure shot on well yeah i guess we could play our land because we want to potentially sink land into the minotaur sure shot so i think we'll, we'll play it we can make it unblockable and swing for five a turn potentially as of next turn well we each have one card in hand left If our opponent wants to swing with an exerted hoodie B, I think we take it. I mean, I'm trying to work out what we can block with, you know, in terms of toughness. Oh, okay. Well, that's bad news for us. That's very bad news. Hmm. Let's see how we stay alive here. Yeah, okay, well... Swings with the team. Let's see if we can survive this. We can afford to let like the hyena pack through. We can't afford to let the hoodie brawler through. That's not an option. We can't let we can't let either of those creatures through, no matter what. That's not an option. We can put the shush. No, oh, sorry. Okay. Move to blockers. Put the sure shot on the Blood Rage Blower, Brawler and we can make them change. Dr trade, sorry. We can put the Pathmaker Initiate in the path of the Watchers of the Dead. They will trade. Thank Great Maw. Pathmaker Initiate in front of. Listen, you can only kill one of them in the Blood Rage Insider in front of the Hoodie B, and we're take six. I think that's the play. And I think now we actually have to cycle the Pursue Glory. Because we're not going to be alpha striking. We're in a tough spot here now. Opponent's deck is very similar to ours. Very similar indeed. Make sure we actually are recording, which we are. He's going to kill the Pathmaker Initiate instead. Well, obviously, he can only kill the Pathmaker Initiate, of course. Yeah, do you kill? Yeah, no, he can't. You know, he can kill both, can't he? Does double damage. Yeah, not good for us here. We're in a bad spot here. For sure. That's game. We shall move onward to game two. 
opponent's deck seems excellent. Excellent. I don't think we want to change anything, to be honest. I mean, we could take out Desert Seraphim for Brute Strength, but I don't know if that does it for us here. I think we just run it back. I would like to play first in this mirror match. We will keep this hand for sure. Good hand. Needs to see another land, but plenty of things we can be doing in the meantime. There we go. for two. This is pretty much a dream start in hand for us. We can go sure short next turn and then we have path, Pathmaker Initiate and Shed Weakness. Yep. We even have the option then to refill our hand. Let's give this guy haste. We will definitely offer the trade here. If our opponent has insult to injury then getting his creatures off the board is better for us than it is for him. We will absolutely offer the trade. Yep. Pass. Hoodie B. Big Hoodie B in his Izzy. Hmm. I think we just swing here, keep going. If we're putting was to exert, that's absolutely fine with us. Uh, I don't think our opponent will want to make this block, but if he does, that's fine. Cycles are that's the best thing our opponent could do was cycle on his own turn. Very happy to see that he doesn't attack either. Wow, okay, well, that is good news. Play out our pathmaker initiate, give it haste and swing. Does choose to block this turn. We will attempt to save our guy. Oh wow, okay. It's a real blowout for our opponent. I don't think we actually want to play this land. I think we'll save it for Tormenting. We don't need it. I think we'll save it for Tormenting Voice next turn. Our board position here just now is just phenomenal. Like our opponent's flooding, maybe? I, I don't know. Oh, wow. Opponent conceded there and then. Oh, that's some hand. Five lands and a synchronized strike. Seems not good against our board. Uh, sure, okay. Well, let's uh, run it back again, I guess. I do feel like brute strength over Desert Seridon might be okay. Hmm. I don't know. I think we just run it back. I think our opponent had a very bad draw there, which we were able to take advantage of. Uh, this is the easiest mulligan ever. No land. We will mulligan. Our opponent mulligan as well, so that's something. This hand is a keeper. Our opponent's considering mulligan in the game by the looks of it. We do need to see some red mana. Or pulling Mulligan again, so we're keeping this time. Pulling Mulligan keep, keeps a five. We will put that on the bottom. There we go. Play our in 
Associates Companion Pass. DB absolutely up for the trade here. Point does not block. Player are sure shot. Pass. Yep, absolutely happy with that. Absolutely happy with that. Hyena pack. Hmm. Good if we could hit a land here. We didn't. We could cartouche the Initiate's Companion and trade, but that seems bad. We do want to play this land for sure. I think we just want to cartouche the Minotaur Sure Shot. We can swing into the Hyena Pack next turn. Pass. Then we can play, you know, Pathmaker Initiate and Better Blade Warrior next turn. Or we can swing in with the Minotaur Sure Shot and play one of the others. Minotaur Sure Shot, yep. And I think we'd be quite happy, you know, double blocking and killing the Hyena Pack here, if that's what our opponent wants to do. We could also take the risky play and attack with both. If our opponent wants to block here, and obviously not block here. We could play the Pursue Glory. I think that's a little bit risky. I think I'd rather just attack with the Minotaur Sure Shot. Opponent doesn't block. Okay, well, that's fine with us. Our Bitter Blade Warrior and our Pathmaker Initiate. We will play at our land because of the Sure Shot's ability and pass. I'm fairly good about our position here now. Depending on what point, we could just swing straight swing into this board. Depending on what opponent has, but I mean, even if we play something like Desert Ceridon, we can still just swing straight into this board. Yeah. We will absolutely not block. I think our opponent's dead, maybe. You can see. Yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't play anything, no. Okay, so three. So that'd be 10. Yeah, we don't even need to, we don't even need to exert the Better Blade Warrior. I think that's the win, depending on if our opponent has a removal spell. He does. Oh, wow, okay. Wow. Yep, we perhaps should have played around the synchronized strike there. Hmm, not so good. That, we should have considered that. That was a mistake. For sure. Opponent can eat the sure shot and, you know, he's still going to be taking nine. But, yeah, not good. 
not good at all. If we did, well, no, they get they get first strike, but they're just untapped. Yeah, if we'd exerted, then we should have exerted. Opponent takes nine. We can untap. Uh, we can untap the initiates companion to stop him attacking with the sure shot at least, which is relevant. Giving our opponent Mulligan into oblivion here. That was a very good draw for our opponent. And we'll 100% go for this trade. Uh, take this trade. 100%. Yep. Do you have another trick? No, you played a land already. Okay. We could kill off our Pathmaker Initiate here, potentially, um, and make the Defiant Great Maw 4 or 5. Let's see what we draw first Bloodlust Inciter. I think we could play the Inciter and make this guy a 4 or 5. Yeah, let's do that, I think. has no cards in hand. We have a 4 or 5 versus a 3 4, which pairs up pretty well. Opponent's got something. Knife Crop and Tangler. Okay, so he can double block here, but um, loses both these creatures. Just just swing with the Great Maw. See if our opponent wants to jump or double block and kill. Yeah. Oh no, of course that doesn't kill them both. Yeah, you do learn to do some maths. Yeah, that's fine though. We'll play our Thresher Lizard, which is a 4 4. Put it's hanging on in there. He's doing very well. Keeps on playing Prowling Serp apart. Sure. Well, that's a legitimate threat. That is not. Okay, well. I guess we pass and wait. Don't think our opponent swings. Yep. Play a land and pass. It's got something. Tormenting voice is very good here. Very good. Who do you be? Yeah. Hmm. I think we take that. Another Pathmaker Initiate, which we will play. We obviously have to block the Hoodie B this turn, no matter what. I think what outs we have here uh, is that game. Yeah, I think that's game. Yeah. 
Yep, opponent gets there. Well, close match. Didn't quite make it. Our opponent gets there off a mulligan to five, so congratulations to him. Uh, slightly disappointing. Uh, hopefully he'll join me for round three shortly.